So pulling off stuff like this in NBA 2K24 is easier than you think. And in this video, I'm going to have you breaking ankles like your Kyrie Irving or Jordan Poole in NBA 2K24. And it just takes these four simple basic moves that will have you breaking down your defender all game. That's because this is the most accessible NBA 2K ever in terms of breaking down your opponents. 2K gives you all the tools you need and the best thing about it is they simplify the controls for dribbling for these excellent combos. And in this video, I'm going to show you a hand cam on how to bring things together. It's easier than you think. Stick with me until the end of the video. By the end, I guarantee you'll be breaking ankles like Kyrie. And man, the stuff you can do in NBA 2K24 is filthy. And the first set of moves you want to get started with are your crossover combos, which were called switchback combos in NBA 2K23. So in that first combo with the ball in my right hand, I tapped the right stick from left to right, and that gave me that nice crossover combo. This is what it looks like with the ball in your right hand, tapping the right stick from left to right. It gives you that nice rhythm dribble. And here with the ball in your right hand, tapping the right stick from right to left will give you a ball hand switchback combo. And you can combo these two different crossover combos to create a nice simple 4 dribble combo chain as you can see right here. The goal of this move right here is to get your defender off balance by shifting their body and from there attack using the left stick, hold R2 and hold the left stick up left or upright to execute a crossover or a same side launch. It will largely depend on how your defender is playing. You see here we shifted our defender KCP. He opened up his stance to try and cut us off towards the middle, so instead we cross over to the right, holding the left stick and turbo up and to the right. Jordan Poole is one of those guys with great switchback dribbles and a simple move right there was enough for us to shift Bruce Brown a lot, force him to commit his momentum towards the basket to try and cut us off and we cut him off there with a nice tween dribble into a step back jumper. Switchback combos get to learn them they're gonna help you out next is a crossover combo chain which is done by tapping the right stick from left to right repeatedly so execute your crossover combos in repeated fashion here i do three sets of left to right taps on the right stick it will give you this nice crossover combo chain the crossover combo chain is a nice simple combo that will get you feeling like you've mastered dribbling without having to memorize all of the different crossover combo chains executing your standard right stick dribble moves. So it's very simple, those repeated switchback combos or crossover combos will result in that nice dribble combo which you can launch out of once again. I just hold the left stick here, up left to initiate a crossover out of a right stick crossover from that crossover combo chain, get to the basket and finish like Kyrie Irving can. An even simpler combo which you can execute just by tapping one button on the right stick are your dribble breakdowns and to execute your regular dribble breakdown you just tap up on the right stick for Kyrie, it's that nice three crossover chain with an explosive crossover launch at the end definitely want to use this one in situations where you can shift your defender around and use your speed to blow by your defender look at that right there we got a mismatch on jared allen and even someone like donovan mitchell right here who can catch up with us laterally just use his re regular breakdown dribbles to break your defender down and then burst towards the basket. Now, to execute an aggressive breakdown dribble, you just have to add one more input. That's by holding R2 and tapping up on the right stick. And just like the breakdown dribble, this gives you a nice simple crossover combo chain. As you can see right there, playing this out gives you that nice long dribble chain which you can burst out of. A simple move like this right here, we bring Donovan Mitchell to our right, cross over to the left and finish with that floater. So if you're a beginner, you definitely want to start out with these dribble moves. They're very simple, but they do the job well in setting your defender up. The great thing about your crossover dribble chains out of your breakdown dribbles is that you can cut them off at any time. You don't need for the entire crossover combo chain to play out. You can simply launch out of any dribble move, making this a very versatile way to attack your defender. So now that you have these basics down, this tutorial is actually about blending everything together to create complex combos out of the simple combo systems that I showed you in this video. So you'll only be executing one tap inputs or two tap inputs at most, but it's all about blending everything together. 
So that combo chain is an example of all the inputs being put together to use. We start with a basic switchback combo, comboed into another switchback combo, into an aggressive breakdown by holding R2, tapping up on the right stick, and then tapping up on the right stick again to finish with a regular breakdown. And you want to experiment by interrupting your animation chains with any of the basic combo inputs. So in this sequence, I executed all four of those moves in quick succession. I started with a ball hand switch back into a non-ball hand switch back combo right there. Hold R2 and then tap up on the right stick. But and then I immediately tapped up on the right stick to execute my regular breakdown. And from there, I just launch on the same side, hold R2 and hold the left stick up and to the left to blow by Donovan Mitchell. So you want to get creative with your flow like Jordan Poole right here. We execute a non-ball hand switch back with the ball in my right hand. Tap the right stick from left to right to execute that. We then hold R2 and tap up on the right stick. We let the entire aggressive breakdown combo play out and then burst by holding R2 and holding the left stick upright to blow by Miles Turner. So again, it won't take you too many inputs to execute combos like this. This is so simple, it's so accessible, and you'll be doing excellent combos just by blending everything together. Take a look at which animations can interrupt with different animations in your combo chain and be creative with how you mix things up. And depending on the situation, let the full animation play out or cut it off and blow by your defender. So it's that simple. See with Kyrie right there with the ball in my right hand, tap the right stick from left to right very quickly and then hold R2, tap the right stick up and then from there launch with Turbo and hold the left stick up to blow past Donovan Mitchell. And I'm not even bringing escape dribbles or your regular signature size ups into the equation. But once we get into that side of the tutorial, the versatility in how you create off the bounce is gonna be remarkable. So this is an example of that. I execute our basic combos, which we discussed in this video, but then I hold R2 and tap the right stick down to execute that nice Kyrie Irving step back. That's one of the best step back animations in the game. And when you start comboing that with your different switch back combos, your crossover combos, or your breakdown dribbles, now you're being more versatile in how you attack your defender. Look at that, we just break out of the simple combo chain with that nice step back animation. Blow by Donovan Mitchell once again, he commits to cutting us off to our right, but then we execute a nice step back jumper to counter his aggressiveness on defense and punish his momentum. In my opinion, it's never been this easy to do some outrageous stuff in NBA 2K. Look at Jordan Poole right here. Once again, a simple switch back combo to that aggressive breakdown. But then we mix in other dribble size up moves in order to keep our defender off balance. Keep them guessing. Don't want to go to the same combo all the time. You want to add certain dribble moves just to mix things up and keep your defender, you know, always on their toes so that you don't know how you're going to attack. And for you, once you get these simple combos down, the next step is pathing your way towards the basket or away from the basket, depending on how you want to attack your defender and knowing what which finishing animations you should use. Should you go to the basket? Should you step back? Should you hit a fading jumper? Now that you know how to break your defender down, those are the next decisions you're going to have to make. So there you have it. These simple dribble moves are all you need if you're a beginner. For now, you're going to want to expand the depth of your dribble moves moving forward. We're going to discuss those in more detail in future videos. But in my opinion, if you're starting out in 2K or even if you've played 2Ks in the past before and weren't really hip to these moves, this is the framework in which you can create complex, saucy, effective combos without doing too much it's very simple it's very easy let your creativity take over and get to breaking those ankles in nba 2k24